Wow! Fucking hell! What's up? Back at Langolan. Aren't we boys? Yeah, man. Dan's back on his downhill bike, which is good to see. He's got his little brace on. He's been riding the trail bike, feels good. So getting back on the downhill bike today, we're four weeks out from Worlds, I think. So enough time to get him fully settled and back on it. There's a new track here, so we're going to go and check that out and see what it's like. Might ride the BDS line that goes straight down the front today with the time and stuff. So yeah, good day for it. All right, new track. So it has this same ridge to start on. A bit slippy today. Stay right. Then we stay right again. Now we go along this ridge, which is a bit flat. Some little bus stops. Take a clean. Pedaling along here. Miss that one, and now it goes. Wow, was right off the track there. So it's like a series of straights like that into tight turns with quite kind of heavily straight to be fair. Really tight one, was that? This one's a tight one here. Yeah. There's a little double coming up out of here. Come on It's out of the next left. The next right. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty physical. Good fun though. Hop. A little gap over the track. And then sharp turn. Really looking sharp. Again, super sharp this time. Oh fuck, I forgot we were going again. Last one before we go into the woods. Well, that bag maybe, you know, somewhere. This is really tight. Kill all the speed. And then a little bit uphill. This track would be a little bit better on a trail bike, I would say. Definitely not a, a downhill race track, that's for sure. And then we've got some jumps. Fun turn. Back on the pedals. Hoppa. Wow. And then the field. So yeah, really good fun new line at Langolan. So putting three runs down Martin's new track here that my mate Brian and then I think Andy Lund finished and it's pretty good. It's definitely better for the trail bike. It's not a, a, a downhill race track that's for sure. There's too many kind of tight corners into kind of uphills or flats but it's good fun. It's definitely worth coming and riding and uh, it's kind of good that this place has got a really like trail bike friendly track now so that's good. So I'm just onto the original BDS line out in the open, got the timing stuff out and doing some free lap runs. I haven't timed on this track for ages, normally just going straight onto the Ride Portugal line and smash laps out on there but ridden that that much over the last couple of years it's kind of got a bit boring um, just knowing where you're going. So, so yeah timing stuff's out, Dan's getting some vids um, it's slippy still running fast so yeah having a good one Rough and loose. 
Uh, inside line, it's tricky to get on now. Not the track it used to be. New bus stop as well. Slows you down into here. There's the split. Wow! Wow! Fucking hell! Oh my god. Just ran up high and there's something up there. Jesus Christ! Ran the front wheel up into the the bank but did not get what I was expecting on the way down. I've stayed right up there and washed out on that slate. Yep, there it is. Nice shiny bit of slate. Won't be going up there again. You good, dude? Yeah, the big one. So another unreal day at Langolan, it never disappoints. Been doing some timing on the BDS track, I haven't ridden this one for a while and it's been really good. Super steep, like, I haven't ridden a track where I've like, had to avoid dragging my brakes for ages, so it's been good to remember to kind of get on and off the brakes in between the steep sections, so been good. Just bringing in the last free lap, deeper now. So good to have the accurate timing when I'm training. Sometimes a run can feel good and it can be the same as the one before and sometimes it can feel good and be two seconds faster i've had that today so it's nice to know when like changing fault pressures and things like that actually make a difference on the clock so cheers to martin at langolan this place never disappoints absolutely unreal day just gonna pack up now and get moving got to get down to rock guards because rock guards have been making a mold for the common cell e-bike so anyone out there with a, a common cell meta power rock guards are going to have a like a, a guard for the frame available soon nice one guys see you for the next one Brought to you by Jack Rain.